Hi guys, welcome to this short episode today I'm making on this Canon 7D. Today I am going to be talking about the aperture priority on this Canon EOS 7D. The aperture priority is located on your wheel here. If I turn it around, you can clearly see that it says AV. So you need to make sure you put it on AV. Switch your camera on, which mine is already. And then, essentially, if, you, if I click on the Q button, there is my um, aperture priority. And basically, what that is, it's a little hole inside the camera that lets light in in simple terms. Most people get confused with this and think, well, what am I doing with this and how do I work it? Essentially, it's a little hole inside the camera that allows the, the, uh, a certain amount of light to go to the sensor. The sensor is essentially the little chip in the camera that records whatever you're taking. So, how does this work? Essentially, it's, um, the aperture value is listed as F number. So, for example, if um, you are shooting outdoors uh, in a lot of light, then you want a larger F number. The reason why you want a larger F number is because it works the opposite way. So, an F22 means it's a smaller opening. So, therefore, you need less light because there's so much light around. It's a nice sunny day. You probably want an F. 10 or an f12 maybe depending on your shutter speed to let, allow less light in because you don't want it to be overexposed if you shoot indoors you probably want a lower f number so like f6.8 f5.8 f8 the reason why probably f8 to be honest because it's, if it's a studio environment the reason why you want a lower number is because you want more light to go so you want a slightly bigger opening and that's how that works how you control it on your camera is essentially you've got your little dial there so you can essentially just you can just change it like this so you can just literally just change the dial and it would the numbers will change or you can do it here so oh I've got it on the wrong setting so if I go back here oh and then just go up to f stop there we go and now if I just do that my f number will change as you can see so I've got it up to f22 F36, so it goes all the way to F36 on this Canon 7D. Um, so if I take a picture with F, um, F32, F36 in this not so great environment, it comes out, it comes out like this. So if I take this down now to F5.6 and take the picture again, you can see it's a little bit darker this time. So it doesn't have any, it does have an impact, but the aperture really works with the shutter. So you do need to sort of marry the two things together to ensure that you get the right um, um, exposure of image. But essentially on a Canon 7D you put in AV, you make sure that you're just playing around with that there. You might need to play around with all these as well. So you know your aperture, your shutter, so your shutter, your white balance and all these other things that you might need to play around. But please watch some other videos that I've made sort of showcasing those. Today I've just talked about aperture priority on this Canon 7 EOS, uh, Canon 7D EOS model so if you've got any questions please do post i'm happy to respond to any questions that you might have you know obviously i'm making these short little videos because i just love cameras and i love talking about it around the world people are watching me so i appreciate that and please do follow me and subscribe to my channel and if you know you know i'll post more when you when you've got things that you want me to talk about thank you very much Bye bye